Hey guys, so I'm so excited to get in today's video because I feel like today's topic is a really, really good one. All right, what happens if you outgrow your loved ones? What do you do when you outgrow your loved ones? How should you react? How should you respond? Do you just cut them off? Do you let them stay? What do you do about growing, outgrowing loved ones? Do you get started into this topic? Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I also just also want to say that I am not a professional. All the advice I have on my channel is all based off of my personal experience, personal opinion. Um, I am not a licensed in anything. But I do feel like because we go through things, we learn a lot of lessons and you go through a lesson, you share a lesson, okay? So this is just my point of view of everything. And I jot down a few ideas that I had that I do want to talk about because growing your loved ones is tough, okay? It's not easy and it's a lesson in life that we all have to go through. We are all going to outgrow the people that we love through these types of videos through wanting to seek help wanting to improve you're able to avoid bad predicaments bad situations and overall improve your overall life and well-being if you just enjoy personal development and growth go ahead and subscribe to my channel where i talk all about that every single day uploading every single morning at 6 a.m pacific standard time I'm just gonna get straight into it okay i don't i don't like to fluff in my videos if you're outgrowing your loved ones the first thing that i wrote down in my notes is one don't hate them do not hate them for just being them okay keep in mind that everybody is god's children all right nobody is perfect no not everybody can go with you no not everyone is going to understand you but there's a lot of really amazing and beautiful genuine people in this world and they don't deserve to go through um your ignorance okay so if you're watching this video i want to give you a shout out because you care about your loved ones obviously right but first things first if you are outgrowing a loved one i don't want you to hate them okay love is kind love is patient and if you feel like you're outgrowing somebody that you genuinely love why would you stop loving that person? That just might mean that you need to love them from a distance. You can't love them so up closely. You can't love them in a way where you have to be with them all the time, every single day. You have to love them for a distance and you have to not hate them for being themselves, for being on their own journey, for not understanding your needs and um, just appreciate them for how they are. I feel like I've I've gone through numerous amounts of friendships um, and relationships. I like to sit back and reflect a lot. And one thing that I'm reflecting on is the fact that there are some really good relationships where I felt like I was impatient. I have fumbled really good relationships sometimes and it was my fault. Um, and sometimes, you know, you can't take things back, but you can learn from other people's mistakes. And so first things to say, like if a person you love is just not understanding your chapter in your life right now when you are outgrowing them and you feel like things just aren't in alignment of you two being together in this synergy in this era of your life right now then that's completely fine but don't hate them don't belittle them don't talk down on them don't say they're not good enough don't say things like you know i don't just don't do it okay don't hate them Rule number one. The next thing that I wrote down is number two. I said one person cannot wear multiple hats. All right. This is so crucial to understand because even sometimes I catch myself when I find a friend, I feel like sometimes I do expect a lot out of them and I have to push back and tell myself to hold on because a friend does not need to be everything that you need in a friend okay and number three i talk about the importance of having multiple friends you this is why you need multiple friends this is why this is why you cannot just have one friend you need multiple friends because not every friend can fulfill everything in a friend that you need one friend might be your ambitious friend one friend might be the friend that you go out and party all the time one friend might be that friend where you go you go out to eat you might have that friend that you go to church with and spiritual if you could find one friend that has everything that you need what a blessing okay but all to say you're not going to find everything in a person you're not going to find a best friend a close friend a boyfriend a wifey you're, you're not going to find everything that you want in one person it's possible but it's not very likely but just keeping that in mind um is like one person cannot wear multiple hats so stop expecting your friends um and the people you're outgrowing 
to come along with you on every single journey. That's not going to happen. I have so many amazing friends that I already outgrew. They are living their best life in other countries. Some are married, some are single, some are so ambitious, some are always traveling, some got kids going on. Life happens and we are going to outgrow everyone. And if you hold this image of a friend um, that you expect them to be, it is completely impossible to grow for you as a person and for them. It's impossible for two people to grow if you have cer a certain image and a certain standard of a friend or a friendship that you always expect out of them. I truly feel like the best type of people and the best type of friends to always keep in your circle is the ones that fully accept you for who you are in all the chapters you have in life. You are a human being and you are going to enter several different chapters in your life and you really want to be around people that understand that okay and that is also you you also have to understand that your friends are going to go through different chapters you might be scaling way faster than some of your friends that you do have don't hate them all right you might have to leave them behind but that doesn't mean that you have to stop loving them and that, that doesn't mean you have to judge them on their journey everyone is always on their own journey and the more that you realize that the more that you're going to understand that one one person cannot wear multiple hats and you are, and you will just appreciate them for who they are. And two, now we're going to dive into the importance of having multiple friends, which is why and it goes into two and three. The importance of having multiple friends and the importance of always meeting new people. You want multiple friends so that way when you are in need of something of a friend, you always have that person to go to if this person can't fulfill that. All right. Having multiple friends is key and always meeting new people is key. You are always growing. I'm, I'm hoping so. If you're watching this video, yes, you are outgrowing your loved ones and you're constantly growing. You're constantly getting to a new chapter. You're constantly entering a new era, a new level and you constantly you need new people you cannot keep one individual your whole life and i'm not talking about in a relationship a life partner is a completely different story but we are talking about your loved ones overall your family your friends the people that you are closest with and why everyone can't come with you which is why you always need to find your tribe you always need to find new people if you are entering a new job or a new career you want to find people that's in that synergy that understand your career path that understand where you are going if you are entering i don't know maybe you have a new hobby obviously if you want to play tennis you don't want to play with people that play basketball that's two completely different languages you are constantly in need of finding new people in your life that are able to nurture you in the chapter you are in your community when i say your community is everything this is exactly what i'm talking about your community is everything and you will limit your growth if you continue to stay in one community, okay? God is so interesting because God puts so many different chapters in your life. And it's so important to learn about detachment so you're not stuck in being somewhere and limiting yourself to being up there, okay? Growth is so, so beautiful, but you have to realize this. Don't get attached to people. Love people from a distance appreciate them for who they are but continue to keep pushing and finding more people that more align with where you are going i have met so many different people aligned with so many different people for so many different reasons and it's like the show just always has to go on okay never stay stagnant where you are never feel like if somebody is holding you back okay if you are outgrowing your loved ones and maybe maybe they don't understand this yet send them this video and be like listen i love you I don't know how to fully um, explain the season I'm in right now, but I want you to know that it's from a good place. And um, maybe this video will help you understand my thoughts because I don't even know how to explain to you this right now. Okay, it, it, it is hard to talk about because more than likely, if you are outgrowing loved ones, especially the ones that don't have the mindset to understand growth, um, it's hard. It's hard and you can only do so much, okay? Like I talk about, love is patient, love is kind. Um, you can only go so far with people that really aren't willing to grow and understand, okay? Even though a friend might not be growing in the pace that she wants them to grow at, there are still friends that are willing to understand and willing to grow as much as they can 
to keep up with where you're going but there's people that will not understand that have a very small mindset that purposely keep themselves in a box because they think they know everything the worst thing you could do in life is think you know everything that's literally the worst thing you can do in life the best type of people know that they are not perfect they are always learning they are always growing and they are open to the idea of something new okay so keep that in mind you might be outgrowing people which is absolutely fine but keep the people that are willing to still grow and have that open mindset the next thing that i wrote down is loving from a distance i feel like i've said that multiple times in this video right now always love from a distance i have friends that i love so much but i see them doing their thing out in texas i see them doing their thing out in florida i see them just having a baby i see them do all these things and i still show my love and my gratitude by like birthdays is a great example i'm gonna send you a birthday card okay i'm gonna send you a little gift i'm, I'm still gonna show you love on your special day but i don't think i can make it to the party girl i don't think i can make it to the link up girl the weekend i don't think i could do it because i got my goals right now girl you know so it's like setting your boundaries is so 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 important and still loving from a distance and it's like you can outgrow people but still show them small things that you still love and care about them liking a post engaging with them i feel that's the amazing part about social media it's like you can outgrow everybody but you can still keep in touch okay you can still like their story you can still respond to their story you can still like their post you could still phone call away hey girl i know it's been like 20 years but what's good in the head how you mean let's catch up those random things that's how i keep my outgrown relationships still strong it's like even though i'm in a different era right now i'm in a different season and i'm going right now and you don't understand what the hell i got going on in my life and no i'm not going to explain it because you just don't get it i'm still going to show up for you in ways um that you don't even expect me to i'm still going to like your post i'm still going to say hey i love you and miss you randomly out the blue like those small gestures might not seem like a big deal but as far as nurturing relationships that maybe you have grown and nurturing relationships that um you don't have the capacity to do on an everyday basis anymore like that's so key when it comes to cutting people off or like outgrowing your loved ones like still being able to nurture them from a distance from afar is so key keyword loved ones you love them for a reason they are a loved one for a reason how foolish would it be to not only outgrow your loved ones but never be in communication with them again having too much pride where you can't feel like you could reach out to them because oh my god no she's just doing her own thing i don't want don't don't everything that you're bothering a loved one a loved one is a loved one for a reason they want to hear your voice they want to hear that you care about them anybody wants to know that they are truly cared about right so it's like outgrowing your loved ones loving from a distance but still understanding the small ways to know that y'all still rock together i feel like is so 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 key because the last thing you want to do i mean you can it i don't think it's so detrimental but growing and just constantly having new people in your life but not having depth no friend that stays for 10 years like reveals character that reveals um maybe you don't know how to maintain a relationship and that is something that you could definitely work on um but yeah y'all y'all get it okay don't be that type of person learn how to love from a distance and nurture your loved ones they are a loved one for a reason real is rare genuine friends are rare make sure you keep them okay you don't have to be with them every day you don't have to keep keep them every day but learn how to maintain those amazing relationships because long term they are worth it life is all about people people rule this world we are nothing without the people around us okay people are everything they are more than the money they are more than your success they are more than whatever people are everything they are god's children and the last but definitely not least communicate your needs communicate your needs as a friend okay communicate 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 sometimes friends don't know what you want out of them sometimes just one simple communication of what you're actually looking for what your boundaries are will set the tone so well a loved one a person that deserves to be in your life is a person that understands your boundaries a person that understands your growth a person that understands that you need distance that you need time that you need time away that you can't hang out all the time a friend that just understands is somebody that i feel like you should always keep 
besides you. I personally don't keep anybody that doesn't understand my path and my journey, but I just have so much love for my friends that do understand that I can't talk to you right now. I'm not going to pick up your phone and they're not going to get pissed off, okay? But when I need somebody to talk to, they, they pick up instantly. Like, the real just gets it, okay? And it's like, if you have friends that don't understand and maybe you are outgrowing them and, and there's conflict, sometimes all you need to do is just communicate. All you need to do is just communicate. Like, why do you think y'all say communication is key? Sometimes your genuine friends really just don't understand, so talk to them. I know it might be uncomfortable. I know you've never done this before. I know this might feel weird to you. But your friends are everything. Your loved ones are everything. So learn how to communicate your needs. The more that you just go through friend after friend after friend after friend, you're going to learn what you don't like. You're going to learn what you like. You're going to learn what you're able to tolerate. You're going to learn what you're never going to tolerate ever again. It's all a numbers game. Business, it's all a numbers game. People, it's all a numbers game. Everything in life, it's a numbers game. You have to go through things most of the time to fully understand what you like and don't like and all that good stuff. All right, so hopefully this video was full of gems for y'all. Everything that I had to say. Um, this was really helpful. I'm Y'all gonna see me writing down my notes way more often. Um, but yeah, you guys, if you're outgrowing your loved ones, I hope this video was helpful for you. This is, again, I'm no license to anything. This is from peer experiences in my own opinion. Um, comment down below if you have any more advice, any type of opinion, if I've helped you in any way. And God bless all of you guys. Bye.